Now, once the butter starts to turn pale like this, I hope you can see that, it goes from that deep yellowish color, which is really the butter fat that's in the butter, makes me happy, and it starts to get pale because what's happening is that air is beginning to get in there and it's expanding this thing, which is a principle that's really needed. Then we're going to add sugar to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. But you can see it wasn't a pound. Now, once that happens, there's a little cooking technique or baking technique that's called creamed. That's exactly what this is doing right now, is when the next ingredient you want to add is the eggs. And what we're going to do is we're going to add one egg at a time. Let that sort of cream the butter and sugar. And then the other egg. And then for not only color, but also for richness, we're going to add three egg yolks, one at a time. <laughs> now, this is when I tell people, particularly when they're making cake batters, or particularly they're making pound cake, this is really when you want to stop the machine, let the machine come down. You see on the sides over there, oh, there's a lot of butter that's on the sides that's not really incorporated. And this is when you really want to scrape down the sides so that your whole batter, including the bottom as I'm doing right here, is totally incorporated so that the batter is all together and it's smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to start that again, slowly. And once that gets together now, now very simply what we're going to do is we're going to add the zest of about three oranges so it gets a lot of pungency, a lot of orange flavor. Now, we're going to add the orange zest in there, a little bit of vanilla, and now we're ready to put this whole cake batter together. How we're going to do this now is we're going to add the flour, and then slowly, slowly, you start incorporating the flour in there to make the batter. Once that happens, while that's working it out, now what we're going to do is put the oven on about 350 degrees because these are going to cook about 15, 18 minutes or so. You want to lightly butter your fluted muffin pan. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some confectionery sugar with some orange juice and we're going to make sort of this like little orange icing. All right, now, the batter's all together. Now what we're going to do, very simply, we'll take this off. And then you can either use a spoon. What you're going to do is you're going to start taking See, it's a very dense batter when you're working with pound cake. And we're going to fill those in there. Okay? After you bake them, 15 to 18 minutes, they come out of the oven perfectly golden brown like this. Okay? And you should put them on a rack to cool. Okay? They'll come right out of the pan. They're very, you know, they're a little dense. See, I just kind of, why waste it, you know? It's either that or drink it. You know, <laughs> glass of milk, forget it. So we'll just use as much of this glaze. And then I'm going to show you how to just simply garnish this. We we'll just simply garnish this, ladies. You could garnish it with a little bit more orange zest if you like. At this point, I would think it's pretty orangey flavored right now. And um, what we'll do is take our toasted almonds like this now and just kind of pick it up a little bit.